Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Leo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for July to August 2024 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Leo and July to August, I mean end of July to the majority of August is Leo season. So pretty, pretty empowering energy for you. And as we say that we have strength. Strength is also the major arcana of Leo in tarot. So definitely a feeling of empowerment here. Sometimes we have to recognize and affirm our own strength and power as well. So we have strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction and a balanced body, mind and soul. Your spirit has its, spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone, as we're always with you. So that's what I have as your first message, Leo. Let's see what else we get for you. I'm going to pull you a spirit animal oracle card. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Leos? Thank you, angel spirits guides. Message from spirit. And these are mainly messages. Of course, as always, <laughs> I get the cat for Leo. Now, the tiger is also a card of personal power. Um, so again, this symbolism is coming out very strongly for you. Tiger, you're being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. I'm going to pull you a destiny card. What do we have for our lovely Leo's angel spirits guides as a message for, for, for Leo? What do we have as a message for Leo? Thank you. I've got the cat again. <laughs> We've got, I think it's the snow leopard. Focus. Let me read that out to you. So the picture shows the snowy mountain peak. What you focus on is what you pull to you. So put your attention on that which is worthwhile. Concentrate on one desire. Direct your intent to one thing rather than being scattered in many directions. When your thoughts and actions are unfocused, it dilutes and diminishes your forward movement. It is much easier to gain results when you are concentrating on one path. Gather your inner resources with intensity and passion. Go forward and upward and you'll see results. This is also a card of spiritual transcendence and travelling to higher realms. So stay focused as you elevate your higher consciousness. You are close to heavenly realms. You know, I, I was also getting, you might be conquering the mountain here as well or having an opportunity to conquer something. Getting to the top. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. I'm going to pull the cards. What do we have for our lovely Leos for July to August time? Message from Spirit, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Leos? One more shuffle. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. 
message for Leo. Message for Leo. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me this has come out because the magician is focused energy. The magician is whatever we focus our attention on. We have the opportunity to turn something negative to positive, an idea into reality or base metal to gold. You are the manifesto, you have the magic. Just like on that table, the cup, the pentacle, the sword, the wand, you have the emotion emotion and intuition, the intellect and mental acuity and clarity with the sword. You have the practical resources and know-how. And with the wand we have, which is fire energy, you have the passion, the power, the creativity, the resilience, you know, combined with, you know, as above, so below, spirit helping you as well. This is the magician. Whatever's happened up to this point, this time, you've got the power to manifest something here. We have the Four of Cups. King of Swords. Knight of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> nice, nice, we have the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. And there is the Conquering Energy. We have the Chariot, the Victory, Triumph, Success. Because you refused to give up, you kept on going until you want, you got where you wanted to be. I mean, this is the energy. <laughs> and it's victory of any kind. I think that this is some kind of, um, it feels like a process or an experience that you're going through here, Leo. Now, the five of ones can be when we're battling with other people, when we're in conflict with other, another person, party or people. Um, it can also be where there are, you have multiple people um, offering you something, you know, um, people want what you might have to sell, you know, this can be that kind of energy as well. For others of you, it could well be with the King of Swords being here, could well be dealing going through some kind of um, process. Uh, I, I think that you're waiting to get the right offer. And I think it's likely to do with a sum of money, whether it's an official thing like legalities or I mean, it could be official even in terms of um, uh, agreeing some kind of contract or coming to some kind of, you know, positive agreement. So it could well be a legal thing or a contractual thing or selling something. Uh, but the same energy applies. Because the, the Four of Cups is when there's something is offered to you here, could be to either settle some kind of conflict or dispute or fallout. Um, it can also be, like I said, when you've got many people vying for something that you have to sell, maybe. The same as you applies. Now, I think that this is about refraining. You're, there's, there's a kind of lackluster energy with the Four of Cups. You know, I, I'm not accepting this right now because I feel I deserve more. And this is the energy at play. I like seeing the King of Swords in your reading. You could be dealing with the King of Swords. This could be somebody who is, who is linked to bringing you some kind of victory or triumph. King of Swords is very fair, very uh, honourable, um, can also be linked with um, legal professions, contractual areas, uh, solicitors, you know, lawyers, um, that kind of energy as well, contractual areas as well. Um, but this can also be your energy being very clear on what you want the end result to be here, Leo, male or female with this energy, and really not accepting less than you want. And that's what I'm seeing here. And it looks by doing that, however this plays out for you, I think that there is an energy of, of a little bit of lacklustre offer, and it doesn't look like you're accepting that. 
I think this is about upping the offer, could be to something that's more fair. You know, we see the balancing scales here with, with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles can be a sum of money. And this is what I'm seeing for you. It feels like there is an increased offer in some way because you weren't accepting less than you knew victory would hold for you. Whatever you want, you want the end result to be. You're really not taking your eyes off the end result here. And I think that you're very clear in terms of how you're moving forward. So if someone's upping their offer, they could be doing the right thing or making you a fairer offer. Again, could even be dealing with the King of Swords, male or female. Somebody who's doing the right thing this time. Or making the right offer. And this Leo is then where there is a forward movement because the Ace of, of Pentacles is a sum of money. Uh, it represents new abundance. It can also be linked with things like jobs and business opportunities. For a lot of you, this feels like you're going through some kind of process. So yes, it can be to do with a contract. It can be to do with coming to an official agreement in terms of what sum of money you get as well, whatever format that takes. But this feels like there's a clear way forward now and you're getting the sum of money or the opportunity that you want. It feels like there's a little bit of, of toing and froing here. You're not accepting, you know, anything that's less than what you're absolutely seeing is the end result here. And you're very clear what the eyes on the prize are here. You know, you understand what you want the end result to be and you're getting it. I mean, the chariot is you're getting it. You're getting that end result. This is victory, triumph, success over it could well be a journey that you've been going through here, an experience that you've been going through. But the chariot is you get to your end result. You get to what you consider as a victory, triumph and success for you. Why? Because you're the magician. You're likely in a very powerful position. You understand what you want to ma manifest and you understand that you've got everything that you need to get the end result. And that's why you're being told here, remember your personal power. And like I said, when I was, when I was touching this card, um, you're getting to the top of the mountain. You're getting to the result that you wanted to, you know, you've been climbing that mountain, but this is about getting to the top of the mountain here and it feels good. You know, <laughs> it feels like conquering something and achieving something and claiming a significant victory, you know, and that's what I see for you. Yes, it takes strength. It takes strength of will. Remember that as well. You know, remember the chariot is just not an external journey. It's an internal one. It's a strength of will. It's willpower and determination. But you have everything that you need to get the end result here. I mean, it's a pretty powerful energy and it's a pretty powerful message here, Leo. I'm going to finish off by pulling you a little angel message. What do we have for our lovely Leos? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides message for Leo. Ace of Pentacles can also be linked with moving or relocating home as well or job or something as well. This is a practical month or two for you, July to August, but you're getting the end result that you want. What a lovely reading. Beginnings, yes. <laughs> Life is a series of cycles and a time of rebirth is indicated for you. This may mean a new phase in a relationship, the germination of a fresh idea, or the development of qualities in you like laughter, light or hope. It may herald a total change. Do not be afraid to let go of the familiar, for the new cannot enter until the old and that worn has departed. Your angel guidance is to accept the new, for it will be welcome when it arrives. Birth is a vulnerable time. The fragile life force needs to be protected and nurtured within you. Ask the angels to guide you to the new beginnings in your life, to guide the new beginnings in your life safely to maturity. So your affirmation for July to August, I welcome and nurture the new in my life.
Leo, that's what I have for you for July to August time as your message from spirit. Personal power, remember who you are, and again, work your magic and everything will fall into place. I mean, that's the energy here. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful July to August. I'll see you next time.